Hello everyone in YouTube land, this is Lingo Twist with Westside Mixtape Gems and I will be showing you how to make a GIF animation today. Um, what you want to do first is go to the windows up here and then you want to go to animation and you want to make sure that it is visible because if not you won't be able to see your frames down here. Um, these are your frames that you want to have, you want to create as many as you want. Um, depending on what you are making the GIF animation for. If you're going to make it for MySpace, I would suggest you make them as minimal as possible with the not that many colors. I will be on here making an other tutorial on how to make your little video default pictures, whatever. Uh, what you want to do first, after you do the view animation, you want to make sure you have all your layers and you want to make sure that every animation you want to show up in a different frame you want to make sure you have a different layer for it every little detail you want to show up make sure you have a different layer for it so that way you can play with the visibility on every um, animation frame so I have five layers and I have five animations and what I'm going to do is do them make them show up one by one so uh, the first frame I want all of them to show up I'm gonna leave it like that the second frame I only want the orange one to show up so I'm gonna hide the visibility on the rest of them but I want to keep my background visible because if not it's gonna look like that that's not what you want it to look like then you want to go to frame 3 and I only want the orange one and the green one to show so I'm gonna keep the orange one visible and the background visible and only take away the red one and the blue one this time so there you go you have your orange and your green the next one you want to do the same thing I want to keep my red one so I'm gonna take away only the blue one then the last one I want the blue one to show so that's what it's gonna look like now when you hit play there it goes it's showing up one two three four one two three four now if you want to make it a little bit more fancy smanshy you want to use your between which is looks like five or four or five little circles going like that what you want to do is I only want it to be two steps in between so I'm gonna hit two and watch what it does here <sighs> um, it should show up you see what it did there so first frame second frame third frame fourth frame and it's just that way so the next one I'm gonna do another tween and I'm gonna do it with the next frame I'm gonna make it two frames as well so it's gonna now it's gonna look like this oh, from the beginning you see and then it shows up in this one I'm gonna tween it with the next frame as well the two frames so the blue can beard and disappear whatever and now you see the blue one appearing too you see there you go and you would go up here file save for web and devices and you want to save it as a gif if you you know then then you hit save you want to hit preview if you want to see it and it'll show up for you in whatever default pro um, browser you have and I don't know why it's taking so long but it should show up in a little bit there it goes starting to show up and after this I will show you see how it goes now you can see it up there and you close it I'm gonna hit save and there you go blah blah, blah you'll name it whatever you want to name it and keep going Cancel. Tony Marv is somebody that I do artwork for. If you're wondering now, if I wanted to make a preset, what you want to do is you want to get your magic wand. You want to go to select whatever it is that you want to make your br your brush out of. I want to make it out of his name. So what I'm going to do is go to File. Um, no, excuse me, edit and then go define brush preset and you want to go name it whatever you want to name it you hit OK and 
it would show up in whatever brushes you have open right now. Like if you have your basic brushes open, it's going to be saved in your basic brushes. So if what you might want to do is make yourself um, a new brush um, library so that you can save it in there. And then voila, you would go into brushes and then click it. I already have it done. And then so it really didn't matter. So then you have a little stamp. It's handy. It comes in handy when you do a lot of logos and stuff like that. I don't want to save it. And there you go. That's how you make a GIF animation. And that is how you make a brush preset. Thank you for watching so much. I will be back on here with more tutorials. Probably on Illustrator and Flash uh, this month. So stay tuned. Thank you. Bye-bye.